Hello, I'm Ellen Larson, and I teach in the Health Sciences Department. This is my 12th year there, and I am an assistant clinical professor, and I specialize in school health education and uh, school health and physical education pedagogy. So basically, teaching teachers how to teach. The thing I like best about the blended class is I get to do what I love best and that's working with the students, establishing relationships with them, and having a very interactive, experiential type of classroom environment. Okay, we have, I have 70 students in the class, and 35 of the students meet on Tuesday, and 35 students meet on Thursday. And then the other day that they're not meeting, they are doing the content offload, meaning they're doing the reading, they are prepping for the next face-to-face -face class. So when they walk through the door on their one day a week that they're in class, they have read the chapter, they've listened to a mini lecture, they've taken a content quiz on the material, um, they've done numerous other activities depending on the week. It might be an online discussion, um, perhaps they might be doing online self-assessments, um, they might be submitting other materials to help prepare them for engagement as soon as they walk through the door on either Tuesday or Thursday. For me, the biggest challenge has been setting up meaningful activities online to hold students accountable and prepare them for class, but not make hours and hours and hours of grading for me. If a colleague came to me um, who was considering um, designing a blended course, my first question to them would be, what are your course outcomes? And would a blended design align, support, enhance the student achievement of those course outcomes? Probably the best resource for me as I started designing this blended class were the first year learning initiative materials that are posted online. I also went to some faculty development sessions that talked about PhiLi, first year learning initiative practices, and also setting up one-on-one -on -one time with some of the experts and have them go in and look at your course and make suggestions and, and offer ideas and, and let you look at other courses and see what other people have done. I feel so excited about teaching this class because Again, I'm able to use the time, use my time well. I don't, I don't think 70 students need me to stand in front of them and go over what's in the textbook, the basics. When it comes to blended learning, I certainly uh, don't think it's the end all or the cure all for every class and every instructor. However, I do feel that depending on the course and the outcomes, it can really make a class come alive. 